Hello and welcome to 2938 Bruce Court, Beaver Creek, Ohio. First thing, the location of this home. This is located on a no outlet cul-de-sac street, so there's only three houses past this one, so you shouldn't have a whole lot of traffic on this street right here. To the rear of the property, we can't see it right now. I'll show you the backyard here momentarily, but this literally backs up to one of Beaver Creek's elementary schools, main elementary. So there is no immediate rear neighbors on here. And the garage door, we do have some damage on the garage door. This garage door is on order. So this will be replaced with a brand new garage door. Opener um, is not very old on this either. So that's a newer opener as well. Nice front porch. The bushes afford you some privacy here. And before we go look in the front door, or before we go through the front door, let's check out the backyard. I'll meet you around back. All right, so I just came through the side gate here coming into the backyard. As you can see, we have a good sized backyard here. Backs up to the bus barn of the elementary school right there, so no immediate neighbors to the rear. Large covered patio to the rear of the property, and it looks like we are fenced in here. So just a great backyard, great setting, and a great location of Beaver Creek. Next, let's go take a look at the inside. All right, so here I just came through the front door. We're greeted by a tiled entry here that opens up into our living room. Updated window, it's a picture window in the middle and both of the windows on either side are sliders that open up. So living room here, formal dining room right here. It's kind of walled off there. And then from the living room, we walk into the family room that features a wood burning fireplace, which would also be a great spot for a nice picture above there or a large screen TV. So could also double as the dining room here if you wanted to use that room as the office. Over here, I think we're gonna call this the dining room and this the living room, family room, potato, potato, one or the other. This door here leads us out to our oversized two car garage or mechanicals are out there. And there's a, a lot of workspace in there along with parking. Going into the kitchen here, we have a large desk over here, pantry cabinet. And the kitchen sink overlooks the backyard, so you can watch the kids and the dogs run and play. All of the appliances do stay from the kitchen. Leads us into the dining room. Before we look at that, I'll give you another perspective of the kitchen. Dishwashers over here in this corner. So a little desk area and some more storage over there, so the kids could do homework. And then the dining room here. It's got the chandelier, so I'm calling it the dining room. Could also be an office. Really, you could wall this up put a door on here and call it a fourth bedroom too because we have three bedrooms and two full bathrooms. Bedroom number one, this is the smallest bedroom. Closet's over here. This is on the front middle of the home. Then as we go down the hallway, first full bathroom, that is a shower tub in there so you can shower or take a bath. Linen closet, bedroom number two, and I might have them labeled differently online but this is on the front left of the home and windows are updated throughout the home. This is the owner suite here. Updated windows, ceiling fan in here. Closets over here to our left and it does have its own bathroom. Walk-in shower here, updated vanity. Very, very nice. So this is on the back left of the home if you're looking at it from the street. So hard to find brick ranch with a two car garage in Beaver Creek. Priced very competitively well. He's a little bit of work, not bad, but just you know, choose your own colors and things like that. And the garage door is being done. Mechanically, we're good on this home. A lot of space, a lot bigger than what it looks from the street as well. So a house like this in Beaver Creek will not last long, especially with the location on a cul-de-sac cul street backing up to the elementary school. Guys, this one's gonna go quick. So give us a call today or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to show it to you as well. Thanks for watching and I look forward to talking to you.